Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I work on that hexagonal drum I was talking about last time. Barb Makes Things! But Barb, the sides of the dodecahedron are pentagons. Are you starting another instrument? Nope, gonna make it fit inside one of those pentagon sides. Having models and vector files of all my drum pieces means I can calculate exactly the size I need it to be. To start though, I need new clamp jigs. I know just how critical these have been in making the pentagonal drum shells. So I'm gonna make some more with 120 degree angles. This project has taken a lot of material and it'll take a lot more. I try to conserve as much as I can, both for cost and because Geez, I want to save the good ply for the drum hoops and not waste even C-grade plywood. For these jigs, it doesn't matter if the material has not. So, crummiest scraps I can find. I dug up a round leftover piece of plywood that I think was from this Polaroid transparency light box frame I made three years ago. These will be small pieces so I can fit a bunch on a weird half circle. gluing these together as well as using dowels to align them. These pieces of the clamp jigs that I cut on the CNC, I made with like the crummiest wood I could find. So there are a lot of voids in it. It had like all these chunks that were just torn out of them. That's okay, I don't need it to be perfect. I'm just gonna glue them together because it's only important to me that their outside edge be straight and smooth. If there's some little holes in it but the majority of it is solid and straight, that's fine. I covered the jigs in foil tape as I'd done before to prevent them from sticking to the glued up shells. The material that I'm definitely not skimping on is red oak for the drum shells. For simplicity's sake, I've been using pre-cut hobby boards. Cutting the oak down to four and a half inches. And then, once again, using all the clamps I could find. These little pieces on the outside, by the way, are to protect the surface of the drum shell from the clamps. Next time, I'll make the hoops for this drum, assemble it, and hear what difference there is between a pentagon drum and a hexagon drum. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.